crypto, we're seeing there's so much volatility in crypto right now. And just from a company corporate standpoint, we're seeing huge layoffs in the industry. And then Coinbase laid off 18% of their workforce. Um, other major companies around five to 20%. Could you speak to what we're seeing right now in crypto? Well, obviously, uh, I can <laughs> need more than five minutes for that because uh, things, things that are happening right now are, are pretty critics. But, you know, for, for someone that came through two bear markets in the past, you know, business as usual. Crypto is not going anywhere. Obviously, there are excess and excess is always punished. You know, but at the end of the day, builders continue to build and no, and nothing is going to stop crypto. That's a lesson that I learned for the past eight years and things are going to continue, you know, the way it was done. Innovation will continue to be built. This is the biggest transformation of our lifetime. I'm very grateful to have been involved very early in this ecosystem. And, um, you know, this is just, uh, I think we're going to have, you know, with the macro and, you know, all the things happening, interest rate going up, obviously the environment is not great right now, but eventually crypto will come out stronger from it. I'm sure of that. And by the way, I just want to say it's not every company, obviously INX is actively hiring. There are other companies that are growing in this bear right. market. So I do just want to point that out. It's not every company. No, sure. I mean, we are going after a market that doesn't exist today. As simple as that. So we we don't have we have barely any competition. All the things you know that we want to happen, you know, we 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 are we are working toward it. So we are not going to decrease our efforts. We need to take this market and you know make it make it live. So it's going to take people. It's going to take talent. And it's going to take um, a lot of hard, hard work. But um, you know, the same way, we need a few things, but you know, the same way OpenSea started being OpenSea in 2021, even though they actually started working on it since 2017, the market came to OpenSea. And OpenSea believed in their vision. And eventually the market came to them. I believe it's going to happen exactly the same for INX. We are building, it will take time, but eventually the market will come to us. So we are building toward this. So when the market comes, we are ready for it. Hey, thoughts on this potential Celsius insolvency and the potential insolvency, insolvency of three errors capital. What, is, what implications does that have on crypto? Well, the thing is it, there is a contagion risk right now. Because you know everybody borrow money from Celsius, everybody has money with uh, three euros. Those guys are so big that if they fall, uh, there will be some contagion, and we and we start seeing actually things crack in the crypto ecosystem. Um, so you know, in two thousand eight, Central Bank came and bailed out the system. Here, there is nobody to bail you out, right? So this is the risk, actually. And this is why maybe I like decentralized system very much because they are less, um, you know, suspect to to do that to do things. And you know, Bitcoin at the end of the day or crypto, it's supposed to be decentralized. It's supposed to you know own your keys. Eventually, you know, you can trade on exchanges. No problem with that. But you know, at the end of the day. Uh, having those pools of um, of um, of crypto in in within one organization is definitely uh, a systemic risk for the for the ecosystem. So we are seeing this right now. Um, I think we will see the effect of that for for a bit. Um, let's see how it goes. Does the crypto market? Do you think it needs a? capitulation-like effect for then to start the recovery process? I do. Um, I think there is a lot of leverage in the system. I think that a lot of people have some, uh, you know, margin call level, and uh, even some of them are actually public because of the nature and the design of the system with Aave and Compound and you know, everything is public out there. 
the market is always going to go where the liquidity is. This is how the market is designed. It has always been, it will, it will always do that. So um, if you look at uh, open interest versus market cap, if you look at um, the number of um, loan that were taken over the, net, over the last, I would say, 18 to 24 months, the truth is there is a lot, a lot of leverage in the system. And definitely it can be, we can have a domino effect that is going to liquidate um, a lot of people, especially as Celsius has, um, you know, stopped um, withdrawal. Uh, this is really unfortunate. Uh, I think we are all paying the price, uh, but yes, eventually, like the last two, three beer markets, eventually this end up in a, into a capitulation event. In a way, it is healthy to flush out all the fluff in the ecosystem. It is just unfortunate that average people are suffering because these companies couldn't manage uh, manage money. Yes, uh, it's unfortunate, but. When you get into crypto, uh, you know, it's not Disneyland. Uh, you need to know what you do. Either you have a long-term view and you buy an old or you DCA, or you want to play the trader and you want to play the volatility. And it goes both ways. You can make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. The, one of the main characteristics of crypto is, is its volatility. And this is what makes crypto uh, on the positive side and on the negative side. So um, that's why we love crypto, I guess. Yes, great perspective. To watch the full conversation, there's a link down below in the video description. And if you're interested in learning more about cryptocurrency, click subscribe. We drop a video every single day. You do not want to miss one. See you tomorrow.